Hey guys, it's Troy with a really quick pet mail video. I've got four pens here to show you today. Just got these in the mail. And uh, several of them are very common with one another. I'm going to start with this one since it's probably the oddball out of them. And this has a clip that says Waltham. And on the barrel it says Universal. So this is kind of a Franken pen. Probably what had happened, somebody had an old uh, lever filler fountain pen and had a cap that would fit on the barrel because they don't really go together. It doesn't have the same name. And I, I picked this up for like 10 bucks just as a project pen and for no other reason. And I mean, look at that nib. It's all grungy. The barrel is uh, pretty scuffed up and grungy. Uh, so I'm going to try to tear this apart and I can tell you that you know it definitely needs a new sack. Um, yeah, there's no, there's nothing but resistance there. So um, I'll, uh, I'll work on this when I get the opportunity. Probably uh, uh, sometime in the next month or so I'll try to dig it out and play with it so there's one little project pen um, got a, uh, I had a Parker Vector Rollerball that I bought for like $1.79 and that one just came in from China yes they're manufactured in China um, even with the Parker brand name and it writes okay uh, so it's not too bad so I got a, I picked up my second rollerball uh, you probably uh, may have seen my other one that I had my very first rollerball was a Waterman Karen in a rollerball and these last two are uh, same brand they should look familiar to people they are Esther Brooks and so I picked up an Esther Brook J and uh, an Esther Brook SJ uh, I kind of like the color of this one, and the price was right, so I went ahead and got it. And it's going to need uh, some work done to it. It's going to need uh, some restoration, some cleaning, some buffing, a sack change on it. Uh, but, you know, it's got a, a fairly decent nib, and I'll get that cleaned up. I've got a bunch of Esterbrook nibs and uh, some parts which actually was good for this one here. Now this particular pen right here I got from Newton Pens, Sean Newton with newtonpens.com and uh, I've not only had Sean custom make me a fountain pen before, uh, Sean is a former school teacher who has a scholarship fund that a lot of people uh, pitch in and contribute and what I do from time to time is I will bid on pens that are up for auction on his website and the proceeds from those auctions uh, because the pens are pretty much donated uh, will go towards a scholarship fund and he's given thousands and thousands of dollars to high school kids uh, for college tuition so I participate in those uh, auctions every so often. I've gotten a bunch of pens by doing it. So newtonpens.com. And this was actually in excellent condition, a nice Esterbrook. Uh, and uh, it, it's a, a nice gray color, nice and shiny. The nib is in perfect condition. It had a sack uh, that uh, is still pliable and usable. It's a little odd, though. Whoever put that sack on uh, made it just a little short but it still uh, should work. And the other thing, uh, this was missing a pressure bar on the inside, uh, that little J bar that comes inside of here. Uh, fortunately, um, or unfortunately, depending upon how you look at it, I actually had a spare J bar from an, es an old Esther Brook that I had broken uh, while trying to work on it. So <laughs> I was able to take that uh, pressure bar and put it in here. Now I've got a uh, perfectly good working fountain pen. Uh, speaking of Esther Brooks, folks, I've got a dozen of them coming that are going to require some uh, some service work uh, pretty much putting on a new sack buffing them up cleaning them up and what I think I'm going to do is I, I pick those up at a fairly decent price each especially with the uh, minimal amount of work that I'm going to need to do to get them up and running if you saw my video on how to replace an ink sack guess what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing everything that was in those videos uh, in order to get these pens ready for service and I may just turn around and offer them up for sale uh, I didn't buy them for for me I bought them primarily for you uh, so that if you wanted a uh, good Esther Brook uh, good writing pen and because I got a bunch of nibs laying around uh, I figured maybe I'll just snatch them up at the price that they were offered fix them up get them ready for use by you my viewers and uh, just maybe I'll have uh, some of those uh, a dozen maybe 15 pens by Esterbrook, vintage from the 1940s, ready for sale at uh, an affordable price. So you can have your little slice of vintage um, that way. 
So anyway, just wanted to pass that along. That's my really quick pen mail day. Had four pens come in today. Obviously, three vintage and uh, one modern rollerball. So keep watching. Um, in a little while, I'll put up some more stuff. And when I get those other Estes in, I'll show you those. And when I get them all ready uh, for consumption, you'll see the video on that too. Thanks.